Hey everybody, we're back for the beginning of the end here on the Monk Challenge, Master, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I leveled up a lot because I've actually tried this. We got all the way to, to Chaos at level 46, I think it was. Uh, I take that back. We were 43 going into the final fight. And uh, that didn't work at all. So I leveled a little bit more. <laughs> a lot more. Uh, also, I went back and I picked up... Okay, well, these just dropped. That wasn't even by choice, but whatever. So, yay, we can use death. Yippee whippy. What I went back and got was the giant's gloves out of the, uh, the water shrine because I'm an idiot and I forgot about them. So, on that note, into the chaos shrine finally. Let's finish this thing. So, the light. The light of the four we've been seeking all this time. Th yeah, that light will open the time portal. This portal will transport you 2,000 years into the past to the beginning of a time loop. That Carlin, you'll see, but yeah. Shine the light of the four crystals on the black crystal in the center of the chamber. Doing so will open a time portal to this shrine as it existed 2,000 years ago. And the power of the four fiends were absorbing from the crystal. Er, the power the four fiends, excuse me, were absorbing from the crystals was being uh, fed into the past by this black crystal. The one distorting the beautiful light of the crystals is the one we've been looking for all along. The true root of all evil lies there. For the Sky People, we came to the Shrine in an attempt to locate the source of the world's ruin, and that was 400 years ago. The Curse of the Fiends changed us into this form and prevented us from speaking, but the light of the crystals lets you hear us. So let's go shine those lights. Let's do this. So yeah, the uh, they mentioned it before, but the uh, Lufenians sent these guys out 400 years ago, and they got turned into bats and have been stuck here. So you focus the light of the four shining crystals onto the uh, the black crystal, and the flow of time surges and space begins to warp. One step forward and you'll travel back 2,000 years in time. Gladly. And now for like the most confusing fucking map ever. I fuck this up so bad every time. Like I'm really, really bad at figuring this out usually. However, I do remember you go to the right, At least I think I remember this. <laughs> Alright, let's see how strong we got. You know, you would ice storm me right off the bat. And again, we still don't have any armor. There's no ribbon. There's no fourth ribbon. So I can't really get Y equipped better. And he's gonna take mass damage no matter what. It's just I can't stop it. So we have to hope for the best, but I can't stop it. Nice hit. So everybody's doing 12 hits. When I was on the final boss before, I was doing, I think, eight hits tops. It might have topped at ten. I forget. All right. Uh, that brings me into... Durgan Zambies. So this is going to repeat uh, the, uh, the four crystal bosses again on the way in, because that's what Final Fantasy games do. This is where it started. Um, but it's going to wind up repeating them again, basically. And then, um, I don't know how to phrase that any better. Oh, I want to go down. Um, like one floor at a time, basically. After we get through these, like, seven or eight floors of Earth Crystal bullshit, we're almost done, quite honestly. We're, like, we're almost through this part. But this is the confusing one. After this, it gets much easier. Like, everything is so much more straightforward. This one's confusing as fuck. You know what, the, the Marilith floor isn't exactly the most straightforward thing either, but... The other thing, if you did not get the loot from, uh, as in L-U-T-E, not L-O-O-T, from uh, Princess Sarah back in Cornelia, you're gonna regret it right about now. Because you can't get out of here. Jam. learn that song. Those are both Gil, by the way. There's like 110,000 Gil between those two. It's like totally fucking pointless in my opinion. Because where the fuck am I going to spend money at this point? Does, does Chaos take bribes? If so, we should talk because we could save ourselves a lot of time and hassle here. I've got almost... I, in fact, we're probably capped out at a million Gil right now. I didn't spend that much of it. Could be wrong. Yeah, a little shy. But not too bad. 
This one where we go up top here. I think. I could just be completely ass backwards on this, but this is why I get confused here super easily. It's very, very easy to do. Alright, levels are good. That's taking us downwards. We are in the first floor where I want to be. Awesome. We are exactly where I want to be. So we should have to make our way all the way around the outside of this floor. And then we'll make our way over to the, uh, the actual boss on this particular floor, I believe. Should heal too. I really, really, yeah, I should really, really heal. There's stuff in here that can kill you. If it hits you hard enough, and it will. Well, we are flat out laying the smack down, literally and figuratively, to everything here. Uh, speaking of that healing, let's do that. You know what? Use the regular potions first. That's the middle. We want to go down the far right side. Our stairs will be at the, uh, the bottom right if I remember. Like, I gotta say, coming in here 10 levels below this, we got through, like, all of this stuff, no issue. So, I mean, this is second nature to me now, but the boss fights did kind of sort of drag out a little bit. This, I bet, changes it. I bet you this will change that, that little uh, issue, if you will. On that note, let's save over these guys, because, again, yeah, there's a slight difference between the two there. Let's save over you. Back to basement one. But let's fight the Lich one more time. I'm almost curious enough without the Giant's Gloves what would happen. Let's just attack with everybody else and see. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're going to kill the shit out of you. We're going to kill these by comparison. My God. We were doing like 60 damage a person by, uh, before. That's so much more. Holy crap, dude. All right, what does Iz do? Holy shit. Yeah, no, this is a big difference. This might actually turn the tide. That might turn the tide against the uh, chaos later on. Oh, man, we're taking, like, no physical damage either. Yeah, this is way better. Sit down. Sit down, Mr. Lich. Ain't nobody got time for you, sir. One gill? Woo! I'm loaded. Alright, so this is now the Merolith's floor. So kind of the same order that you went in before. It's going to be um, earth, fire, uh, water, and then wind. I love that I killed a boss. I didn't even heal afterwards. Like, I just haven't cared. These floors can be slightly confusing in here. I mean, like, this one especially, I would say, is, like, 
the best chance for the remainder to get lost, it's not really confusing. You'll see where you're going. I mean, it shows you right at the beginning where the staircase is. You're just trying to get to the other side of the room. That's so all you gotta do is not walk all the way over to the wall like a dumb fuck and uh, actually go on the right pathway. Ah, problem solved. There's only one item that we're going to be worried about picking up in here from a treasure chest. I'm sure everybody that's played the game knows full well what it is, and I don't think it's even going to matter for us, to be real with you. And we're already at, uh, at Merolith. I don't think we need those heals. Pretty sure we won't. Boss number two! You know what? Wow. We're still weighing down 220 hits. It, last time she was hitting me for about 300. Okay, Faraga's a different story. Yeah, about what I expected. Chaos is still gonna murder my face. The, the damage incoming from, whoops, from Chaos is gonna be pretty stupid. The question is, how much damage output can I do? Man. Oh good, it missed. already. Jesus, man. <laughs> We're just murdering now. Level 50 is like a huge breaking point in this one. You wind up with a lot more damage. Your damage scale is immensely better. Uh, I forget where I'm going on this floor. Oh my god, I don't freaking remember. <laughs> I think it's over here. I think, it, uh, I think it doesn't matter. Left or right, I don't think matters. I just always go right on this one. But I think this is where? So yeah, the, uh, the Giant's Gloves that I was using, I haven't even explained yet. The, uh, the spell Saber is actually broken in the NES version, it does nothing. But in the PSP version, they fixed it, and it adds on a lot of extra attack for you. And I think it's like 18 every time you use it. Which right now I think we have like 37, or we cap out at like 37, or 50 something on everybody, excuse me. So like three uses and you double up your attack. And I'm not sure there is a cap, it's probably 255. Everything from this era is like 255, 256 cap. So it's probably one of the two, but I'm not sure. Oh man, we got ambushed. Sit back, relax. Everything's gonna hit for low damage, but we're gonna be here a minute. And they're all getting turns first, too. Man, for real. Thank you. Oh, slowly but surely. One more enemy, nice. Aw. And of course they got their turn first. I still question why it gives you money. I guess if you have the exit or warp... Oh my god. I guess if you have the exit or warp spell that, you know, you can get out of here and spend it. But why does everything give you money in the last dungeon? There should be like higher chance at elixirs or something. Because there's, th I think there's one or two enemies that can drop elixirs and or make elixirs. And I have one elixir. So, for reference's sake, I have one. Levels. 
Beautiful. Alright, so that brings us out here. We gotta walk up to this part and go out the center. You can see the door. I skipped over that last time. I was like, where the fuck am I going? Like, I could not figure out what I was doing. They're like, oh, there's a door in the center. Wow, I'm blind. I tend to screw up the dumbest of things. That being the dumbest. Just use up these potions. They're nowhere near as effective as high potions. But we can save those for fights. Like, well, the last fight. We won't use that many, but nonetheless, we'll have them there just in case. If I have to go through that many, we done fucked it up. Or he's casting Kiraja repeatedly. Which I've seen him do. He's quite capable of it. And Chaos is a troll. Finally! Right about there. Cracking! Let's get cracking! Alright, uh, Giant's Gloves, murder. Ow! He still hits hard. Jesus. But so do we. <laughs> God damn it. It's another effect that did absolutely nothing, if I remember right, in the original. And I'm pretty sure in FF6, Darkness does nothing to you either. Keep on eking. That does nothing, dude. You ain't gonna bother me with that. And you're already dead, so. <laughs> well, that was not a boss fight. That did not feel like a boss fight. We are so much more powerful now. Poor dude on the bottom is getting the ever-living snot beaten out of him, but other than that, the group is immensely more powerful. Alright, before we go fight Tiamat, because it doesn't remove Tiamat, it simply kills one version and then you get another one. We're gonna go pick up the one item that we want out of here. And to be honest with you, I don't even know that I necessarily want it. It didn't seem to make a big difference. And I don't think it will. But we're gonna get it anyways. Just to say we did. Like, I'm not sure, but I think I may remove that before the final fight. Anyways, for those that are curious, Masamune, Masamune, however you want to pronounce it, is down here. And every class is capable of equipping it, including the unpowered uh, up versions. They're all capable of it. So when you can suddenly turn your, uh, you know, like your white mage into just this ridiculous physical attacker, it's kind of fun. I don't know that it's going to do us much good here, because, I mean... Who knows, maybe it'll have the uh, the amount of attacks, because it's only one weapon. But we'll find out. I'm curious enough. <laughs> Actually, who's got the best stats? Wow, 60 attack on you, 192 accuracy is better than this, so that's a thing, right? Yeah. Same person it was last time. So, it should give you a lot more. You know, you get more accuracy, you get more more attack out of it. But, question is, with black belts, monks, masters, whatever they they go by in your world, question is, does it matter? You're gonna throw a wise attack, aren't you? Yeah, it halves the amount of attacks. Oh well. It was a nice thought. It was a very nice thought, but that, that was short-lived. Sorry. So instead of using two hands to, uh, to individually attack with, there you drop it down to just like, oh, we're gonna throw that in one hand and go for it. So you get half of the attacks you normally would. 
And we're actually already at Tiamat. So I'm gonna heal. No reason not to be safe. She's right here. You don't even see the stairs and you're like, what the fuck? All right, that was weak. That was super weak. What the hell? And we're almost done. This is the last of the four crystal bosses and then we got chaos after this. Wow, that was not impressive. So he's still my best hitter. So we'll wind up using uh, using the gloves on a thing in the final fight. And derp. nope, this one. Damn it, I can't math. This one. Okay, him for sure. Jesus, man, we're not doing as much damage as I figured we would. Oh, good, let's cast AoE Scourge. That's what we need. Wow, I was way off. Samsonite, I was way off. All right, there's all the fiends, which leaves us one more obstacle. Good old Chaos himself. We have an excessive amount of high potions left over, so that's good. Ten levels lower than this, I actually used up 70 of the uh, the high potions on the way through. <laughs> so for reference on what ten levels will do for you, uh, spend about an hour leveling. Trust me, it's worth it. about as leveled as we're gonna get here uh pretty much and our best attacker is still a thing all right that pops us to our final floor so let's mass heal i don't think there's any enemies down here except for chaos but why not you know why not be super safe all right, so we started out coming in at 52. We only got up to 53. I didn't expect the world there, but here we are. <laughs> so, let's do this. Hopefully we have better luck than I did before, because I tried this for like an hour, and he just, he raffle stopped the floor with me, so. Do you remember me? I was once known as a Knight of Cornelia. <gasps> 2,000 years from now, you killed me. I'm Garland. Oh, you did defeat me then. But the four great fiends saved me by sending me back through time. Fucking what? Once here, I sent the four fiends into the future. Where they shall once again use the four great forces to send me to the past. Two thousand years, I'll remember none of this. And then he just explodes and turns into chaos embodied. But I will be reborn again here. So even as you die again and again, I shall return, born again into this endless circle that I've created. Unless we kill you this time. All right, let's do this. Uh, where to begin? Uh, I guess you can just do this. You're gonna use the gloves. You can just attack, just to see. Ow, my face. Wow, holy shit, that's respectable damage for not having anything on. Oh my god. Yeah, I think we got this. I think we might be better off this time. Minimally, we're better, but... Also, if you could just keep, like, straight attacking, that'd be awesome. Just saying. No, not Phoenix Town another round. <sighs> You're a dick. Couldn't have let me heal. They had also thrown the fucking uh, spell off of his item first, huh? 
So we're whopping like 260 damage into the 20,000 health this dude has. I'm serious. Um, all right, you white robot, you... Yeah, you know what? Keep high potioning. Let's see where you're at. You high potion him. Or he dies. That's another way to do it. Jesus Christ, Chaos. Come on, dude. Mm, it's all right. Uh, let's have you... White robe the party. Jesus. He's being really nice with physical attacks, too. He could be AoE in the fuck out of us right now. He's being super nice, and I feel like I'm totally squandering it. Uh, you're gonna white robe, you're gonna keep doing this, and... I guess you can heal yourself. I mean, hitting him isn't gonna do jack shit, so... Oh, well, that happened. Of course he'd get that spell to go first. Sorry, is. And here comes the bullshit, because if he keeps throwing spells, we're gonna be a total shit creek. How do I wanna do this? Uh, you giant spell yourself again. remember which I did. Okay, I did Phoenix down with you. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> Couldn't remember how we were doing this. Uh, you need... Debating this. Uh, you know what? Well, he's dead anyways. Won't matter. Fuck. Let's try this again. You, X Potion yourself. You, Phoenix down. You know what? No. You, High Potion him. You start throwing attacks for fun. Let's see where he's at. God. Well, at least you hit the meat shield. Hello. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Alright. Um. Yeah, here comes the pain. This is where the issue starts brewing. This is where we might form a problem. Okay, that hurt. A lot. Alright, you are gonna throw this on him. Totally gonna work. Totally. And then you're gonna keep attacking. Yeah, no. <laughs> Shit. And now I have to heal with the thing next round, because the other guys are dead. Fuck. <sighs> now the question is, will this fire in time? Because we need this first. Nope. God damn it, game, you're such a cunt. You're such a cunt with the fucking turn order some days. I love how it just changes up, too. It can't just keep it the same. Oh, yeah, that one. Can't keep the same turn order, can we? I see how you are. So there's your proof that we're even now we're probably not like, you know, exactly strong enough. And if he AoEs all the time, yeah, this is gonna be a nice loop. Speaking of time loops, we're gonna get stuck in one. Boy, oh, it's like Groundhog Day in here. Alright, let's try this again. What else can I do? Um, not much. Not a hell of a lot. Figures he'd blaze right off the beginning. See what I mean about the spells?
you do this, you heal. Jesus. So there's two. Use a uh, blink on everybody. That was smart. That's about as good as we're gonna get on those. Alright, he's at three. You heal yourself, you heal yourself, you keep doing this, and. Actually, you know what, I lied. Uh, you. Instead of healing yourself, defend. You do that, you heal... him. Fuck. Whatever, if Y dies, Y dies. I'm not healing him. I'm not gonna bother with him. He's the last person on my priority list. on him. Make sure he lives. Uh, let's have you. Let's hit him. Uh, you are going to defend. And you hit him. Oh no, god no, god no, god no, god no, 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 no. Oh, fuck my life. All that fucking setup. The only person now that can actually do a goddamn thing against him is Iz. Fuck, dude. Alright, guess who gets the giant's gloves now? Iz. Look at you. Cause watch. I'll attack with you anyways, just to show. Uh, do that, I guess. Jesus Christ. I oh, still did 16 hits. Never mind. That's it's still pretty fucking good. Huh. All right, you heal you. You heal you. No, not defend. Also, not defender. You keep doing this. You heal you. He won't live that long. I should have thrown that null blade or uh, null thunder thing. Put me somewhere around about the 2,000 damage a swing mark. Somewhere. Hopefully. Let's hope that that is the case. He's gonna take forever to get back to Null Shock. Throw a Strength Potion on him. Throw a Speed Potion on him. Giants glove yourself one more time. Hopefully now we're at like the 3k-ish mark, maybe? God, that'd be sweet. Let's find out. Alright, throw those heals. I like the safety, that's good. Good, 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 good. Alright, a thing. Do it. Do a thing. And do yourself. Yeah. Huh. 23 hundo. Alright. Oh god. That's gonna hurt everyone. Of all spells, Tsunami hurts the worst. It's like 270 a pop. Jesus. Yeah, keep doing that. 3k a shot? Fuck yes. Do that. More of those. Many, 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 many more of those. Uh, 
let's go with... I'm gonna regret that. Oh, he may not live long enough to regret it. We'll find out. If Viz survives this, that was a good use of an X-Potion. If not, then we get the X-Potion back. So, whatever. I guess. <laughs> Did he live? Nope! No, he didn't. But Chaos does, because Chaos is a... What? God damn it. Um, alright. Good. <laughs> good start. That thing will live, hopefully. Oh, you cunt. You monumental cunt. Holy shit, this game can fuck right off some days. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do I just save that for later on him? Probably not worth it. It won't matter anyways, unless we get lucky and this misses. Miss him. Yeah, nice. Keep throwing that spell. Throw Null Shock, I guess, just in case. Oh god, yeah, there's what we need. Haste yourself. <laughs> By the way, that's an exaggeration. We do not need him doing that. At fucking all. Uh, what can we do? Let's do... Does that do anything? No. Um... Jesus. Uh, let's use... Uh... I guess we can just attack him, too. Why not? Hey, it's 200 damage. Hey, this is also about 200 damage. Crazy how that works. Alright, now we go back to focusing on healing. And hope to God that he never does it again. Because if he does it again, holy shit, we're fucked. <laughs> we're so screwed if he does that again. God damn it, don't hit him. Of all people, don't hit a thing. I guess if it's gonna offset like this, keep hitting him. But, you know, don't. Just, just don't. That might hurt. 170 ish. Alright, that's good. We're gonna gain health. Kind of. I may need to use a full healing round at some point just to be on the safe side. Just throw Thundara next, it shouldn't hurt us. And if that's the case, I can heal this. Which I think I'm... Oh, nice! It didn't matter! Fuck yeah, GG! He only has 10k. I thought he had 9. Or, uh, 20, excuse me. Oh, hell yes. Ah, uh, sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Hell yeah, dude. And people probably thought I couldn't get it done with monks. Haha. -ha. I did it with white mages. Believe me, I can do it with monks. And now I'm pretty sure I can do it with any class. <laughs> thief would probably be the uh, the next one. Because Thief is not exactly going to be the easiest thing ever. I'm not going to read this because it will seem like I am the dumbest person ever trying to read this slow. Just, it's a long, long ending. Oh, but so worth it after that challenge. My god. It really wasn't that bad once we hit him into uh, to Masters. has prevailed once more. Huzzah! I like how it has to keep reminding you what the uh, the elemental forces are as well. Because, you know, I'm, I'm super confused about those at this point, after this playthrough. What, what were they again? Oh, and fire. Uh... It was a mere trick of fate. <laughs> I suppose probably the next challenges to start doing would be soloing with one character, but I think in this version it wouldn't be that tough, to be real with you. It would still have moments, but I don't think it'd be as bad as I think.
or trying to go through with like the original blue belts instead of uh, upping them to masters, that would probably have been impossible. Or I'd be level 99. Yeah, that's right, even Garland is there. What the fuck? Did we really close that time loop, or is this just never-ending? Because from the sounds of it, that's gonna start again. Maybe I'm wrong. None can say. I can. Here, let me help. Yep. <laughs> it just keeps going on and on and on. Like, just when you think the stories are like, nope, and just so you know, they were four young brave travelers. Fucking seriously, I just spent the last, like, 14 hours controlling him. I caught that, thanks. None will ever recall the struggle the four endured. Except when you replay the game multiple times every year because Final Fantasy Month is a region in December. Other than that, nobody will ever remember it, though. Ever, 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 ever gonna remember this. But they did good. But they did good. We think? <laughs> yeah, but within the tales, oh my god, it just keeps going. Like, how many times is the music looped? Have you kept track of that? This is what I mean. Like, you should have at least written an ending theme to match how fucking long this text scroll goes on for. Because George Lucas and, and, like, even Mel Brooks making fun of it are looking at this going, Holy shit, man. Like, wow. <sighs> it just keeps going. Tales of dwarves and elves, of dragons and shining civilizations that reached the heavens even as they fell. Twas the best of times, twas the worst of times. Wait for it. Oh wait, no, are we actually at the end of the fucking text scroll? <laughs> no, no we're not. And now the return is upon us, 17 hours of text later. Or is it because maybe we're really stuck in the time loop that they used to be and now it's just all text? Have you thought that through? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's still going. With the memory of their struggles buried deep in their hearts, you said nobody would fucking remember it. Uh, they will quietly watch over our world. Apparently while remembering the impossible to remember thing. Good for them. Good, good for them. These guys are fucking amazing. <laughs> what in the hell even? Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> remember when I told you this takes a while? How many fucking minutes has this been? Remember always that the forces of the world must be used as they were intended. Evil for evil. Good for not evil. And neutrality for those times when you just want to set a bedroll on fire and roll it at your, your constituents. If you don't know, look into a little bit of D&D &D on... Yeah, I mean, enough said. <laughs> set a bedroll on fire, roll it at your enemies. Trust me, it'll do fire damage. Possibly also to you. Just watch out. Don't, don't crit fail that roll. For you're the warrior who crossed time. Warrior is plural. There were four. Oh, you're forgetting. I see. I see. I get it. 
They're forgetting already. Oh my god. You are the bringer of light. So fuck you. Wasn't that a line out of uh, that one? Oh, there we go. When the birds fly, you know you're good. Oh my freaking god, but it, we're not done with the ending. That was a troll. Ha 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 ha. However, at least we get the normal music now. It's so much better. Still the first Final Fantasy... Well, on that note, what was the first Final Fantasy game that you beat? This is the first one for me, though. The uh, the original NES version. Which I'm sure I said at the beginning of the playthrough, but out of curiosity... Gotta kinda know. go also try to finish off the uh, the black mage challenge here just record the uh, the four black mages fighting against chaos at like way different level than these guys were not bad though for only one death on chaos for these guys that ain't bad it was a lot more if you want to count them at level 43 but nah, we can't do that Publicity division. <laughs> Why is that in yellow? I just don't, uh, I guess I don't understand the color choices is all, but eh, not a big deal. It's the ending. Who cares? It's not like it was somebody's name in piss yellow. That would have been kind of weird. Quality assurance. Boy, there's a thing that doesn't exist nowadays. Hey, uh, game companies, if any of you are listening, hire quality assurance testers, because, oh my god, man. The amount of just absolute oddities that show up in video games nowadays. You know, like, for example, like your quality assurance guys also still didn't even notice that Saber doesn't work. A lot of the instant death spells didn't. Like, they were like, they couldn't even figure out what to do for some of the, the later on spells, so they just gave you a shitload of instant deaths. Like, all of level 7, I think, in Black Mage, if I'm not mistaken, is all insta-death spells. There's one where it's like, oh yeah, here, you get a choice of four, three of which are insta-deaths, none of which are gonna ever work. There's so many insta-death spells in this. And all support staff. Rating section. The guy with the middle finger. Him. Remember when I said that the uh, the credits take a long fucking time to scroll through? Well, they do. David Ribs Carrillo. That's still my favorite part. You gotta wait for that every time just because. I mean, it's it, his nickname is Ribs. Do I even want to know? Actually, yes. Yes, I want to know. I mean, does he just... Uh, you know what? No, don't don't answer that. I don't... I, I actually don't want to know. <laughs> Why do we have QA translators? This just keeps going for freaking hours. Holy crap, this is kind of getting annoying. I'm not joking, like the last like 15 minutes have all just been ending in credits and me kind of rambling to fill time, which is not as easy to do as one would think. Busta Mante, great name. 
it is kind of fun reading through these sometimes, but yeah, even so. <laughs> even so, there's limits to how much you're willing to, to go through. Like, this could have gone, you know, this is going to be extreme on the, the speed, mind you. And I'm sorry for the noise, but it could have gone like that and we would have been fine. Wow, we made it through a cycle of the song in that little... <laughs> Jesus Christ. And look, like, it just kept going, too. Like, it's just, it's extreme. It just, it never stops. It just keeps going. And you can't make it stop. You can only make it go faster by, you know... Oh, look, the composer! Great music! Oh, wait, we're to the special thing, so we gotta be close. We gotta be relatively close. Or probably not. An all square Enix staff. Oh, but wait, there's the new team that worked on the PSP version. Uh, it looks like it's bursting more stars. That's probably a good sign. Oh. Sorry for the brief, like, yeah, we gotta speed the show. Oh my god. Fuck you. There's still more. How do you possibly find room for more fucking credits on top of goddamn still pictures? Like, how? I swear to God, if you cycle it again, I will murder a dude. <laughs> All right, no, we got through it finally. Black belt, monk, master, whatever you want to call him, challenge out the window. We got this one done too. Thank you guys again for all the support. Again, you'll see a lot of this every June and or December on uh, the on the Twitch channel. Uh, we do Final Fantasy Month over there where it's 24 hours a day. Be sure to check that out. Give it a follow. Much love. We will see you soon.